Welcome to the LLM Engineering Challenge by AI Makerspace. Now this challenge is very straightforward. You simply need to run the cells in the notebook one by one. But I want to go ahead and turn it over to the Wiz, who's going to give you a walkthrough and show you every single step. Hi, my name is Chris Alexiak, also called the Wiz, and I'm happy to walk you through the LLME Engineering Challenge. So this is the LLM Engineer a boot camp that we're offering on Maven, and this is the challenge that you'll need to complete in order to get into the cohort. All right, so let's just jump right in. First things first, it's a long notebook, but it's not gonna take that long to run. Even with training, it'll probably take somewhere between uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes total to work through the notebook. It is possible to do this on a T4 instance, but we would recommend doing this with an A100 instance, uh, which is gonna require you to have Colab Pro, which you're gonna need for the bootcamp anyway. The model that we're gonna be uh, instruction tuning today, or in this case, summary tuning today, is the new research Metalama 3.8B instruct model. Uh, basically, this prevents us from needing to go through the signup form through Meta. Uh, new research has provided the model weights to us, as is uh, without that extra hurdle, which is great. We're gonna be using something called PEF and LoRa, and we're gonna get into the weeds on those as we go through the bootcamp together. So I'm not gonna talk about them a lot right here, but the idea is that this is what lets us train a big model like 8 billion parameter model on a relatively small GPU, like perhaps a T4. The first thing we need to do is set up our dependencies. We're going to be using a number of different libraries for this. So that's bits and bytes, data sets, accelerate, Lorelib, PEF, transformers, and the TRL. Uh, all of these are going to help us have an easy breezy time when we're actually training the model. All right. So first things first, we need to make sure we're in a GPU instance. If we're not, we can't train. It's that easy. Number two, we need to do a wall of imports. It's a classic, but uh, we, we get it out of the way right at the top here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load the model. Now, even though we're doing quantization, when we load the actual model, we're gonna load it in the full precision, and then we're going to quantize it as we load it into our GPU. So the idea here is that the model is very large on disk, but it will be much less large in our GPU's memory. And this is all achieved with quantization, which we're gonna talk about as we progress through our bootcamp together. All right, so first block of uh, code that's doing something interesting, right? This is the uh, quantization uh, you know, strategy we're using. So this is bits and bytes config. All, all you gotta do is run this one. It's gonna basically say, load the model, make sure that it's small. Okay, then we have the actual model loading. This is gonna take, uh, you know, from, a short time to a longer time, depending on how lucky you get with networking in your instance. Uh, but basically, you should have this done within five to seven minutes. It's just going to load the model, uh, and then we can load the tokenizer as well. We can do some extra little uh, you know, you know, changes to the tokenizer to make it appropriate for the training that we're going to do today. And then we can look at the actual model. This might look like a lot of stuff, but by the end of the bootcamp, you're going to understand every single line in this. Uh, we can also look at the model config to see things like the head dimension, what our activations are, as well as what we're using for quantization. Very cool. So we're going to do summarization tuning here. So we're going to make this model better at summarization tasks. We have a number of different data sets we can choose from, but for the actual implementation today, we're just going to go with this plain English summary of contracts, uh, which is available on GitHub. We need to get the data set and then we're going to open the data set and put it into an expected format. And then we're gonna convert that into a hugging face data set. You can see now we have a data set with 85 rows that has features doc, ID, original text, reference summary, title, and UID. Basically, all the ones we need are reference summary and original text. That's how we're gonna go from original text to reference summary. We're gonna load our uh, train test split here just to make sure that we have some amount of data held out for testing and validation. And then we're gonna recombine our newly split data set into a data set dict, which we can see here has train, test, and validation. This is gonna be useful. These numbers are a little bit small, but this is meant to be an example you can complete in under 30 minutes. Let's look at our example. So we have our original text, which is a big old blob. And then we have our reference summary, which is don't be a jerk, don't hack or cheat. We don't have to ban you, but we can. This is the idea, right? We're trying to go from this big, long, verbose legal thing all the way down to uh, to this kind of tongue-in-cheek but very informal natural language summary. We're going to have to pay special attention to the prompt template. The prompt template 
because we're using the Llama 3 model is going to be very important. Essentially, what we want to make sure is that we can pass in everything we need in a way that the model expects so that when we pass this text through our tokenizer, it gets converted to a format the model understands. Now, we're going to go way deeper on this again in the boot camp, but this is in a very important step that we want to pay special attention to. Of course, we've provided this in this challenge, so you don't have to go digging through prompt templates. Uh, we've also provided a helper function, which creates the prompt template. Once we've created the prompt template, we can create a generate response, which is just going to essentially uh, run inference on the prompt template through our model. We can also see how it does uh, without any tuning, which is not very good. Okay, now we're good to set up Peft Laura. So this is parameter fish and fine tuning with Laura, low rank adaptation. Okay, the uh, idea here is straightforward enough. Uh, we need to prep the model a little bit, and then we're gonna print this helper function to see how many parameters we're actually training versus the original number of parameters. And then we initialize our Laura configs. Our Laura configs are uh, very straightforward. We're just using kind of the the out of the box from the paper values. Uh, it, it works extremely well and that's why we're using this. But these are hyperparameters should you want to change them. All right, all that's left to do is get our path model and then look at how few parameters we're training. That's right, we're training less than 1% of the parameters of this model. That's not like a typo or a rounding error or a uh, you know order of magnitude error. Uh, that's really less than 1% of the uh, parameters that we're going to train. We can see here that we have our model again and again this might not be totally parsable to you right this second but at the end of the boot camp you'll be able to read it no problem lastly we're going to set up training this is a big wall of hyperparameters that we're going to go through in depth as we work through the material but essentially these are knobs that you can turn and buttons you can press that are going to change how the model trains uh, it's going to make it more or less likely to overfit it's going to uh, allow us to have more control of how this thing's being trained we're also going to use this packing equal true flag which is very good for uh, allowing us to train this more efficiently depending on how much data we're using how much capacity we have etc all right Lastly, we're going to set up our SFT trainer. SFT stands for supervised fine tuning. We're going to get into it again uh, as in as our time progresses together. But the basic idea is uh, this is where we're setting up the thing that's going to do the training. And then we call dot train. It trains the model. And you can see that we do train the model. The astute among you might notice that this model is perhaps overfitting, which could be an interesting thing to try to remedy as you work through this challenge if you're coming in with a little bit of a background in this already. Lastly, we have built, but now we need to ship and share. So we're gonna go ahead and log into our hugging face uh, using our hugging face token through the notebook login helper function. We're gonna put it on our hugging face username. We're gonna push just our adapters to the hugging face hub. Uh, Notice that this is just going to push the adapters, not the full model. For that, we need to merge and unload our model and then push the merged artifact to the Hugging Face Hub. Uh, this is going to take a little, uh, little while, uh, probably again about five to seven minutes, depending on network uh, lottery. Okay, we also want to make sure that we push our tokenizer. Uh, the tokenizer is going to be essential in order for us to test this. And then we can generate a response to see how it does. And it does okay. So the basic idea here is we're just going to go through these code cells. We're just going to run them in order. I would implore you to read the details and look at all of the uh, additional information that we have in the markdown. Uh, but that's really the challenge is just working through these cells one by one to get to the final product, which is a tuned model uh, that's better at summarization than it was than when you started. Okay, thanks so much. I'm uh, Chris, the Wiz Alexiak, and uh, can't wait to see you in class. And that's it. You fine tune your first LLM model. Now take your hugging face URL, drop it into the form below so you can complete your application and challenge process, and you'll be on your way to enrolling in the LLM Engineering, the Foundations, Cohort 3.